Good morning, children. Saira. So now we are going to take up chapter number five of history. That is when people rebel, eighteen fifty-seven and after. Children, there is a famous poem. Chamak uthi sansatta van me wo talwar purani thi bunde le har bolo ke mo hamne suni kahani thi. खूब लड़ी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी इजेंट इट वेरी ट्रू आर एंड दीज लाइन्स वेरी ट्रू एंड वेरी पॉपुलर अमंगस्ट एवरी वन येस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द टाइम पीरियड वेयर ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्नर ऑफ इंडिया आर ओन कंट्री आर ओन नेशन वॉज नाउ apt with the torture of the british people this was the time period where each and every indian awoke and saw as well as wanted an uprising in their circumstances as well as situation so today we are going to discuss the story as well as the procedures of independence how this independence how a little spark of independence was ignited and how the procedures as well as the processes take part <clears throat> before moving ahead with the chapter let's have the define have the definition of the terms first sepoy so an indian soldier serving under british or other european orders mutiny when soldiers together begin to disobey their officers in the army firangis foreigners here the term has been used for the englishmen ghazis it is an arabic term originally referring to an individual who participates in military expeditions paramount more important than anything else supreme so children how when the battle started how when people realized that it's time from awakening for a for an awakening it's the time that we shall get back our nation so let's get started with the story when we talk about the rebel when we talk about the independence spark let's start with the first phase sepoys and peasants who gather forces for the revolt that spread across the plains of north india in 1857 policies and people the in previous chapters you looked at the policies of east india company and how the kings the nawabs queens peasants led tribals soldiers landlords etc followed the rules regulations as well as the policies launched by the british people that is the englishmen now was it very easy to absorb or you can say mix up with the policies of the east india come east india company people was it really very comfortable and did the indian people enjoy their rule no the answer is a big no now what is the problem nawabs lost their powers since the mid 18th century nawabs and rajas had seen the seen the erosion of their powers there was a time when they used to rule in a very royal manner but with the upcoming of the british people in india as well as having a vast rule in india the powers of the nawabs was actually eroded before uh, taking it from the 
text i would like to discuss some notes with you so that the things as well as the concept is very clear with you when we are starting children when we start about the first point that is the east india company and where the uh, which how where when actually is the answer of everything that is when we talk about east india company every section every section of the society and people res resists pol resisted policies and actions that harm their interests now what were these interests how each and everything came prominently first nawabs lost their power in mid 18th century the powers were actually lost by the nawabs they lost authority freedom of rulers were highly reduced armed forces were disbanded territories were taken off ruling families try to negotiate it, but all me rani lakshmi bai of jhansi wanted her adopted son as the heir to the kingdom after the death of her husband nana sahib adopted son of peshwa ji peshwa baji rao second pleaded that he be given his father's pension when he, the later died subsidiary alliance was imposed in awad in 1856 and was taken over as dalhousie said there was misgovernment names of moguls were removed from the coins in 1849 dalhousie announced the that family of bahadur shah zafar would move out of redcorn and reside separately in delhi in 1856 lord canning lord canning declared bahadur shah zafar as the last mughal ruler his descendants would just be called as a prince now next what happened peasants and sepoys peasants resented high taxes and resent budget revenue collection system many failed to pay loans and lost their lands sepoys were unhappy on pay allowance and condition of service and new rules violated this poor religious sensibilities now people believed if they could cross the sea they will lose their religion or caste in 1894 so boys were asked to go to burma by sea route but they refused they wanted to follow land route and were badly punished now the problem which came was children if the rule brought changes some changes were acceptable were you can say were actually a part of a, a part or you can say played a role of a boon to our country but some were totally disastrous now when we talk about rani lakshmi bai of jhansi what happened to this uh, to it the according to doctrine of lapse she was not allowed to have her own son an adopted son and as a result she was frustrated she got infuriated she did not want that the british people should confiscate her land and territory so she fought now bahadur shah zafar who was actually caught due to the due to the main problem due to the main problems and war who was a brave mughal ruler he was caught up bahadur shah zafar who was a very brave king was a brave mughal king he was defeated by the britishers in a war or you can say in a battle with them and he was taken away with them after you can see the battle of palasi as well as battle of baksar there were massive changes and the british go, 
got the hold of power as well as land in west bengal and due to that bahadur shah zafar who was the famous last mughal ruler he was declared although after bahadur shah zafar his sons also came to rule they were the descendants but they were not declared to be the last mughal ruler and it was the you can say order or the command of lord canning that the last mughal ruler will be bahadur shah zafar not his children now when we talk about the peasants and sepoys they resented high taxes and rigid revenue collection system many failed i repeat many failed to pay loans and lost their lands the paying of loans was very high for uh, for the people children now why what happened with the sepoys now sepoys were unhappy on pay allowance and conditions of service new rules violated the religious sensibility now what was the religious sensibility as well as religious issue people believed if they cross the sea they would lose their religion or cause in 1894 now what was the concept sepoys were asked to go to burma by sea route but they refused they wanted to follow land road and were badly punished in 1856 company passed a new law every where that is every person new person who took up employment in company's army had to serve overseas if required people believed that a new law every new person who took up employment in company's army had to agree to serve overseas if required by this time there were a lot of reforms also britishers of sati and encouraged the remarriage of women which included widow remarriage also and abolition of child marriage education in english that is english education got promotion after 1813 1830 christian missionaries were allowed to spread on land and property christian people could inherit land after 1850 now subedar sitaram pande works from sepoy to subedar cartridges used for these new rifles were greased with the fat of cows called tallow and pigs affected religious sentiments now everyone who was an indian or you can say who was a particular pure religious person who worshiped the cow not as an animal but a goddess it hurted the sentiments of each and every person nobody was ready to open the rifle because it consisted of the cow's tallow that is the that is the fat of cows and this was a huge disrespect for, or a symbol of this respect for the indian soldiers who were indian natives only so for now children that's it see you in the next class thank you and sai ram